A group of New Zealand grocery suppliers has told News Hub supermarket shoppers are being screwed. They've revealed the price they sell their goods to the major players and we've compared that to the price you pay in the shop. In some cases, the price is doubled. Janneke Trellin is here to explain it. Janneke. That's right. I spoke to 46 different small to medium sized suppliers who sell food to both foodstuffs and Countdown. They told us the supermarkets are making up to 55% gross profit margin on a product. So here's what that looks like. One grower told us that a lettuce he, he would sell to the supermarket for $3, in store we would pay just over $6 for that very same lettuce. The highest supermarket margins we found were in dairy products, fresh produce and organics. But there is a huge range. The lowest profit margin we heard of was 20%. That supplier was selling a dry packaged product with a very long shelf life. The vast majority of those we spoke to sat between 30 and 40%. These suppliers believe that's way too high and it's left them feeling fed up. They describe the system as tyrannical and what's more they say, it's the consumer getting screwed. These suppliers have so much to lose they would only speak to us anonymously. Yet they're the ones who've been feeding us for more than a decade and they're unhappy with the supermarket's profit margins. It's not even a negotiation. You're either coming in at their terms or you're not coming in. It's limitless. Their power is limitless. It's disappointing. It's degrading, you know. It makes you wonder why you even bother. Inflation over the past year has made it particularly tough. We've lost 25% of our profit margin in the last 12 months. But this supplier says over the same time, the supermarkets refuse to pay more, even though they've raised their shelf price. It's not hard math. It's gutting. In the case of Foodstuffs North Island, that's Pack and Save and New World, suppliers also face a long list of extra charges. So the supermarkets have fewer costs eating into their margin. We feel like we're paying them to do their business. There's extra fees for wastage, display, merchandising and even prompt payment. That means if the supermarket pays the supply quickly, they'll often expect a discount. It means your efforts are not being realised through to the consumer. They're being eaten up by the retailer. Foodstuffs has responded. We agree that with inflation at record levels and recession looming, value is critical for New Zealanders. It argues the cost of goods from suppliers are the largest cost to our business, making up 68 cents of every retail dollar on shelf. But remember all those extra charges on suppliers? Well, that calculation doesn't include those. Suppliers still believe it's the supermarket's margins causing consumers to lose out. Consumers are being ripped off. I think it's fair they know suppliers are trying to do all they can to keep things affordable, but we can only do so much. It's going to take a big dog with some big teeth to come in and say, OK, here's what we're going to do. A Commerce Commission study published last year found the supermarkets bank $430 million in excess profits a year, double what the Commission considered they should be making, though the supermarkets dispute that. The government's promising to rein in those profits identified by the Commerce Commission. They're going to have to take steps to make sure that they're conducting themselves in a reasonable manner where the profits they're making are reasonable and no more. A new law is going through Parliament that would bring in a code of conduct, open up wholesale supply and create a grocery commissioner. Consumer New Zealand has some hope that'll have an effect. There will be regular analysis of what's going on in the supermarkets. So those supermarket margins will be under the microscope and the Commerce Commission will be releasing a report once a year. But if that approach doesn't cut it, forcing the supermarkets to sell off stores to a third player is an option. If we need to do more, we will, and divestment is absolutely one of the things we'll look at. Countdown says it's not making too much off Kiwis, saying the gross margin we reported in the half-year profit and dividend announcement was 25.2%. From that, they have to pay for running our stores, paying our team and operating our supply chain. Our absolute priority remains making sure the food on our shelves is as affordable as possible for our customers. Affordable. It's what everyone seems to want. It's yet to be seen whether reforms can make that happen. Yannicka Turwell in News Hub.